Today, Gang 30 will work on a Norwegian freighter that brought general merchandise from Belgium. She will return with a load of 75,000 cases of fruit for Antwerp, Belgium, and Switzerland. The longshoremen board the ship, and the dock soon hums with activity. 80 longshoremen will work today loading this one ship. 56 on the ship and 24 on the dock. Each gang of 13 men has a boss. Jitneys haul the heavy carts from the warehouse and line them up in loading position. Al is a hatch tender. He directs the men on the dock and when the load is securely fastened, he signals to the men on the ship who run the machinery to lift the load. The winches are run by electricity. Right now, they are loading in all five hatches. The longshoremen are skilled in placing the cargo. It is an art to judge the space and to fit the cargo to the space, as they say, to make a nice stow out of it. The weight must be distributed right to ride the rough seas. They say it takes four years to make a longshoreman, and some men can never learn. The men who run the winch levers are called winch drivers. Each load is counted twice. First on the dock by a man from the company called a checker, and again on board by a ship's official. Thus an exact record is kept of the fruit shipped. The fruit must be carefully handled as it is perishable. The men too must be careful. This is a hazardous profession and the men must always be on the alert. Parts of the load may fall off or the wire ropes break or the men may be hit by the heavy hooks. The men work as a team and each man must do his work quickly and accurately. The shipping companies carry group insurance for the men aspects of port life is the efficient movement of containers. It's an industry pioneered in Vancouver, and this is where high-tech meets heavy lifting.
You're on your own little world up here. A lot of people, they're scared of the heights, but myself, you, you uh, once you're in here, you're, you're part, you feel like you're part of the machinery, so you don't even, you don't even think about it. All of the world's major ports compete fiercely for container traffic. It's a rapidly expanding and highly lucrative aspect of international shipping. Many commodities that used to be shipped as bulk are now being containerized. To stay ahead of the competition, the Port of Vancouver has invested millions in employee training and software development. And everything is tracked by computer, every container. Uh, no running around looking for containers. It's all on uh, these screens that I have here, and, and the trucks and that, and tells the uh, foreman where exactly we are at any given time. Morley Strawn is the marketing director of Terminal Systems Incorporated. That's good for that. The port's most modern facility is TSI's terminal at Delta Port. It utilizes breakthrough computer software developed by TSI to track the exact location of every container. This system has been successfully exported to ports such as New York and Long Beach, California. General Manager, Moens Christofferson. And we knew from our previous experience at Vanterm that uh, the voice radio communication system is very cumbersome and is very difficult to cope with because of the interference that is involved in voice radio. So we developed all of our systems around radio data systems. That gives us some distinct advantages and it allows, it allows a more efficient operation and a more efficient mode of communication between the equipment and the operator and the system itself. This allows the operators also, without any other outside interference, to concentrate and focus on the specific job that is required uh, in order to either stack or unstack containers when we're loading uh, the, the trucks, whether it's going to a ship or whether it's going to a speed truck. Once the containers get to dock, you, you know, they're easier to move around, but getting them off the ship and on the ship is the most important part of the, the system. Four hours is long enough. After four hours, um, I think you'd go a little stir-crazy. <laughs> 